Have you ever wondered how new Bitcoins are made? It's not a magical process, but it does involve some fascinating concepts. Stick around and I'm going to unravel the mysteries of Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin miners, and proof of work. If you have ever dreamt of having a money-making machine of your own, stick around because we will also discuss the potential rewards and complexities of Bitcoin mining. Let's dive in. It's a different world that we live in now. I wouldn't say he's got it all figured out. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, better way you're turning line. Cause George Levy's changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy and I teach people how to use blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency safely and effectively. Today, I will be taking you on a journey into the heart of Bitcoin mining or the way that new Bitcoins are created. We will be unveiling its intricate workings and shedding light on its potential rewards, as well as how you can take part if you wish. Bitcoin mining is not literally about mining, but rather it's harnessing the power of computers to validate and add transactions to the blockchain, the underlying technology of Bitcoin. Behind Bitcoin mining are individuals or groups called Bitcoin miners. Now, anyone can be a Bitcoin miner. Yes, you. So if you've heard about and you've thought about becoming a miner, let me explain what's involved. Bitcoin miners are individuals or groups who use powerful computers to verify and add transactions to the Bitcoin blockchain. What they do is that they compete to solve complex puzzles called proof of work. And the first one to solve that puzzle gets to add a new block of transactions to the blockchain. The miners also receive rewards in the form of newly created Bitcoins for their efforts and their work helps ensure the security accuracy and the integrity of the Bitcoin network. In a very simple sort of way, Bitcoin mining is what enables the creation of new Bitcoins and Bitcoin miners can be described as a network of individuals or groups that use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical puzzles. The first one to solve that puzzle gets to validate the transactions, secures the network and earns a reward of new Bitcoins. Isn't that cool? Now, let's talk about proof of work or POW, the name for that process. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's talk about proof of work or POW, which is the name for this process. Proof of work is much like a digital puzzle that miners need to solve before they can add a new block of transactions to the blockchain. This puzzle requires a significant amount of computational power to solve, making it a resource intensive task. This is intentional because the fact that it is so resource intensive protects the network against hackers and spammers from affecting it. Miners in the network compete to solve this puzzle and the first one to solve it and get it right validates the transactions and adds a new block to the blockchain. This process of solving the puzzle involves performing complex calculations and the miners need to find a single specific value called a nonce. When you take that nonce and combine it with the data in the block, it produces a cryptographic hash which is unique and meets a certain criteria for a valid block. This is very, very hard, and it involves billions and billions of calculations per second. Now, once this puzzle is correctly solved, the new block of transactions is added to the blockchain, and the miner that was first able to solve the puzzle is rewarded with a certain number of newly mined or created Bitcoins. This reward serves as the incentive for the miners to dedicate their computer power to secure the network. In other words, the miners put in a lot of effort and resources into Bitcoin mining, and they are rewarded for that investment in new Bitcoins, not cash. Because of this, the miners are fully invested and dedicated to ensuring that the Bitcoin network is always secure and not hacked since they're protecting their source of income. Proof of work is essential for maintaining the security and trustworthiness of a blockchain network. In the case of Bitcoin, it's what makes Bitcoin work. It prevents malicious actors from altering the blockchain history or creating fake transactions since the computational power required to modify a block would be prohibitively high. So the process of solving the POW puzzle adds a randomness to the selection that makes it very, very difficult to choose who the next miner is. This ensures the decentralized nature of Bitcoin. You see, it's not always the same miner that gets to solve the puzzle. There's a lot of randomness involved and all of this is part of POW. Now, let's talk about how you can get started with Bitcoin mining. To become a Bitcoin miner and be competitive enough to actually stand a chance, you will need specialized hardware. This hardware is called ASIC or Application Specific Integrated Circuits. These are powerful machines that are designed exclusively 
for mining bitcoins or mining cryptocurrencies, whatever the case may be. And they pack incredible processing power. To connect it all, you also need Bitcoin mining software, which links your hardware to the broader network. Now, here's a very valuable pro tip. You can join what are known as mining pools. Mining pools can boost your chances of success, you see. The mining pools use the computing power of multiple miners joined together to increase the odds of solving the puzzle. So you see, when a mining pool wins, the rewards are distributed among the pool members. And this offers a steadier stream of income rather than just trying to solve a block always yourself. Now, here's a key thing, and this is the golden question. Can you actually make money with Bitcoin mining? Let me tell you, back in the day, mining was more accessible. Anybody could do it. But as a network complexity has grown, so has the competition. And nowadays, for you to be able to be involved, you need a significant investment in hardware, electricity, and cooling systems, which are all required to keep the hardware running and stay competitive. So before you get involved in Bitcoin mining, it's vital for you to calculate your potential costs versus the rewards to see if it even makes sense for you. As we finish this episode, I want to let you know that Bitcoin mining is the very heartbeat of the Bitcoin ecosystem. Without it, there would be no Bitcoin as we know it. So no Bitcoin mining, no Bitcoins. Because of this, becoming a Bitcoin miner in many ways is very similar to running a money-making machine. And the best part is that anybody can become a Bitcoin miner and you don't have to ask permission to get started. I hope you found this episode valuable and that you learned in the process. Make sure to follow me to stay connected and stay tuned for upcoming episodes. Thank you for joining me. And remember me, we're changing the world, one blockchain at a time.